what's going on everybody in today's video we're gonna be checking a receiver level I know you're gonna say I know how to check a receiver level but my guy you're gonna learn how to really check a receiver level today don't mind that guy right there you can already see down there where possibly it could be at look at the little guy go let's get to it so today we're gonna be checking rack a 404 gas See how much we have in this bad boy right here? Crikey, look at the size of that. Hi there. Alright, now we're in the E2. We have to verify that nothing's in defrost right now. If something's in defrost, it's gonna give us a false reading. So everything's good, nothing's in defrost. So now I have to go into the heat reclaim task and put it in heat reclaim. So I didn't see anything there, so I had to go to the other controller. Only rack B and rack C have heat reclaim. So again, we have to verify every system is out of defrost. And the rack that we want to check, we have to put it into heat reclaim to check it. And the reason for that is, once it turns on, from an old video, you see how the line sits, the size of it. All the gas has to fill up the coil, going back. That's a big line set right there. If you check it without being a heat reclaim, you're going to get a false reading. You're going to mark it down, and then when it's calling for heat in the winter, it's going to go tremendously the level lower than what it is. You saw the line said how much gas that takes up. So you have to check it while it's in the heat reclaim. So it won't starve when it calls for it. Next thing, you got to go to your truck and get something that can generate some kind of heat. I mean, I don't know what you can find that generates that in your truck. I don't know where, just kind of, no idea. So when you do find that, you go up with it, up and down, real slowly, maybe for a minute, not too long, just warm it up real nice. Once you put it down, you kind of check with your finger, and you're going to feel a difference. It's going to be cool to the touch, and then hot to the touch. That's going to be your line right there. <laughs> Muy caliente! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. So once you grab your electrical tape, go back there, mark it on the spot that you feel the temperature difference on it. Usually the information I want to put on there, it's a lot of it, but sometimes I can fit it all in. Don't mind the childlike handwriting, but what I like to put in there is the date, the head pressure, if any system was in defrost during the check, if the rack was in heat reclaimed during the check. The date is obvious, the head pressure I like to put it in there, because if my boy goes in there in the middle of the night, and the head pressure is low, he'll be able to tell that it's logging in the condenser. Number three, if something's in defrost, it's going to be backing up in the receiver and it's not going to give you a good reading when something goes back into refrigeration. The heat reclaim, of course, if it calls for heat and it goes through, it's going to make the rest of the system starve. In some cases, running warm. So I would call this 5%. A good receiver level is 10% above alarm set point. So if your alarm is at 10%, you want it at 20 Usually other Targets, Walmarts are 30-40%. That's what's out there. Every account is different, but that's usually what I go by. Well, that's it. That's how I check a receiver level. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching.